what looks like just a calm wave, can turn into a wall of water taller than a skyscraper. But how do tsunamis actually happen? Let's break down the science behind these ocean monsters. A tsunami isn't just one big wave. It's a series of massive waves caused by sudden movement of huge amounts of water. Think underwater earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or even asteroid impacts. Most tsunamis start with an underwater earthquake. When tectonic plates shift, the seafloor lifts or drops, displacing tons of water instantly. That water moves outward, fast. Tsunami waves can travel at up to 500 miles per hour. That's the speed of a jet plane. But in the deep ocean, they're barely noticeable. The danger comes when they reach the shore. As the ocean gets shallower, the wave slows down, but all that energy has to go somewhere. So the wave grows taller and taller, sometimes over 30 meters high. That's a 10-story building. One eerie tsunami warning sign is when the ocean suddenly pulls back from the shore, exposing the seafloor. If you ever see that, run. Immediately. You've got minutes, maybe seconds. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami was one of the deadliest natural disasters ever. Over 230,000 people lost their lives. That wave carried more energy than several nuclear bombs combined. Tsunamis are rare, but incredibly powerful. Learn the signs, know the science, and stay safe near the sea.